What's going on guys, it's Luck here and My Hero's Ultra Rumble open beta came out recently and there's many things to discuss. The game has great yet simple fighting mechanics but it's very fun to use characters who you like in the show. Like me personally, I like using Dobby, I like Toga, All Might, any of your favorite characters you could use and have fun with them. As you can see, the gameplay is pretty fun and it feels different, you know. So far, the game is balanced with characters, even though some characters are better than others. All the characters are unique and everyone really has a fighter's chance in a 1v1 situation. The unique abilities they have is crazy. Like, literally, Mount Lady turns into a giant. And it's like, bro, how are they going to implement that into a battle royale game without it being super broken? I'm not going to lie, the form is broken, but it's very fun if you're playing with her. It's like, bro, I'm a giant. I'm being able to step on people and hit people with huge projectiles. It's very cool. And then Toga in the game has a very unique ability. Like, she's able to uh, copy a character and become the character and take their abilities, which is very like so much like her in the show and they implemented it well in the game and it goes for all the characters okay they, they all like so unique abilities and it's actually like in the anime or in the manga like the abilities are pretty fucking amazing and i love it also another thing you say like you hop into the game and you're not that good they do have like a training session where you could play against bots and they have different difficulties where you could actually get well at the game and it's not like, man, I'm, I'm going to have to learn the hard way and go up against try hard. Like, you could actually go up against bots, slowly get good at the game, and it's pretty good. You know, the online is pretty cool, too. I know uh, you can turn on voice chat, talk to people. I know a lot of people don't have that right now, but there are some bugs in the game. I know I had a bug where I couldn't heal, like, the whole match, which sucked. I know there were some bugs with like finding matchmaking and stuff like that, but most of the time they aren't that reoccurring. Happen every once in a while, so they're not that annoying. But you know, it's it's a beta, so I'm not really critiquing it for that. And I gotta give props to this game for executing an anime battle royale game. Like just thinking about it, like we never really seen it before, and seeing this actually implemented for my hero is is just amazing. Like the game's so fun guys please play this game if you haven't but also i like how they have types in this game it's not like oh yeah this type has advantage it is this type they just have types that like if you use this character you get a buff and strike so there's like strike defense support technical and depending on the type that they have you could get certain buffs and I like that you could make a team of different types and get certain advantages and it makes it kind of cool to play Overall, the actual gameplay is pretty nice, but outside of the gameplay, they do have a pretty cool gotcha system, and bro, like, there's there's not too much right now, but I could say that the percentage of actually getting something that you want is pretty well. Like, you're not gonna get shafted like it's Dragon Ball Legends, but you're actually gonna get the things that you actually want. And also, they do reward you a lot with, like, coins and tickets to actually buy the things that you want and it's amazing this game actually rewards you for playing the game there's tons of missions you can complete and once you complete the mission you get whatever and the missions aren't that hard they're pretty simple you just get it done get the tickets and then you go summon and bro like i barely even played this game it's been like three days and I summoned over like a hundred times it feels like bro like I summoned a lot and I dang near got like most of the things in the game because this game actually reward you and I love it man but right now though the cosmetics aren't too crazy they do have good cosmetics for beta but I could definitely see when this game you know fully releases and then they start adding like battle passes and stuff that they'll actually have pretty unique and gray outfits they do have little things like agencies or it's called like a clan in other games. They also have like a pro like profile banners where you could customize it, pick whatever picture. Kind of like the Storm series cars. You know how they have cars for the online. You can show like a certain picture of the anime, whatever. But it, it's pretty cool. I like little customizations like that. And they do have like events as well. Also pretty similar to just missions. It's just missions that you actually get like cooler you know stuff and better rewards like they really reward you in this game which i really like and like this is the main thing that i want to brag about because they really reward you like i can't just get out my brain because like most games don't reward you like this and i just love it 
now for the future of this game this game has a lot of potential like they really can't mess it up right now it's doing amazing of course you want to fix the bugs and little things like that but they need to constantly add characters like add a character once a month maybe once a character once every two months or once a month around there i feel like they need to constantly add characters add new uh, cosmetics often add events they definitely need to add new maps like this map so far is fine but for later in the future you're definitely going to need new maps i think once they get like a solid three or four probably five in rotation and probably even add some more after that and for the events the event missions and the exchange shop that they have in there is pretty cool does well they could just add whatever they want to the event and all that honestly like there's not much this game could do to really fuck this up i know they do need to nerf and bust some characters you know make it balanced throughout the whole roster but once they find out how to do that and constantly add things this game will be fine i don't want it to turn out like jump force where the game didn't really add much after like a certain period of time and it lost a lot of like gaming community because of it so if it just constantly adds things this game will be perfectly fine be long running and it'll be fine perfectly fine but this game has tons of potential i would hate for this game to sell and become trash but i don't think that will happen like it's too set up for this not to be great but for my rating of this game i'll give this game a 7.8 as of right now once they constantly add things this game could possibly be like a 9 or a 10 if I, the game is fun bro that's that's all i gotta say i have a great time playing it well thank y'all guys for watching this video make sure y'all leave a like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see y'all in the next video see y'all